House Democrats introduced one article of impeachment against President Trump today for incitement of insurrection. Now, this is for urging his supporters to march on the Capitol last week. Ray Bogan is at the Capitol with the very latest. Democrats in the House of Representatives are formally calling on Vice President Mike Pence and members of the Trump cabinet to invoke the 25th Amendment. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent and ask for its immediate consideration in the House. I object. The new resolution urges Pence to immediately take over as acting president. If the vice president doesn't support this effort, House Democrats will move forward with a second impeachment. Our business is to, uh, to impeach, which is basically an indictment. And then uh, time and circumstances uh, will determine uh, when it will go over to the Senate. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell says unless all 100 senators agree otherwise, an impeachment trial wouldn't start until after Joe Biden's inauguration. Some in the GOP are for impeachment, but many think it's divisive, with nine days left in the Trump presidency. A group of House Republicans wrote a letter to President-elect Biden asking him to request Speaker Pelosi back off her impeachment effort, quote, in the spirit of healing. I think this is just going to pour uh, fuel on the fire. But with National Guardsmen protecting the Capitol complex and flags flying at half-staff in honor of fallen police officer Brian Sicknick, Democrats are not willing to waver. This president is guilty of inciting insurrection. Uh, he has to pay a price for that. Meanwhile, the investigation into Wednesday's siege continues. Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy says 25 domestic terrorism cases have been opened. In Washington, Ray Bogan, Fox News.